Hops have been used for centuries in beer. Somewhere along the 1600s, brewers actually looked at hop as a plant. They gave great flavouring to the beer, but most importantly, they actually act as a natural preservative. So there's typically three um, traditional methods of using hops. One is into your kettle when you boil them, and that's traditionally where you would get the majority of bitterness. The next step is late hopping, and that is either when you add them right at the very end of the boil, or into the next stage of the process, which is called the whirlpool. And that will give you mostly aroma. Very, very little bitterness, but lots of aroma. And the third traditional step would be what's called dry hopping. And dry hopping is typically when you'd add hops to your fermented beer for 24 or 48 hour sort of period. And you get lots and lots of hop aromas, green character coming through from the hops, no hop bitterness, and a lot of oily content. So these are hop combs. Um, so this is the, the raw form of hops. Within this hop flower, you've got these yellow little, um, they're called lupulins. And within the lupulins, you've got alpha acids and you've got essential oils, okay? So your alpha acids contains your bitterness and your essential oil contains all the aroma. For me, the hops are one of the key things for developing a great tasting beer. And hops can be a little bit like um, vines for wine. You can have the same variety grown in different locations and get slightly different flavor profiles from the same variety of hop. It gives bitterness depending on what hop variety you use. It gives aroma depending on what hop variety you use. It's just incredible what you can create from the hop varieties.